Stay off the wall. There we go, there we go, there we go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here on Monday for another mobile drift game, FR Legends. A lot of you guys have been telling me that I need to play this thing on the channel. I've played it for a little bit. It is definitely uh, a relaxing pocket drift game. Uh, is it as good as Torque Drift personally? Well, we're going to talk about that today because we did also play Hiroshia Drifter the other day on the channel as well. So, for cars, I do have my S14 with some uh, upgrades, and we do have hertz fc so we do have this car to drive to pizza 69 but we're gonna go back to our s14 i don't have many tracks unlocked because i haven't played it too too much but we're gonna do a little bit of fun with it do some tandems and you know get into talking about why i don't really play this game too much so we're just gonna go straight into a battle the reason i don't play this game as much is because it's a very simplistic drift game personally and to me I would prefer to have the games where you have to tune the cars and adjust stuff like that. This game is just very, oh, simplistic and very, I guess it's, like I said, it's a fun pocket drift game. There's nothing wrong with it. I enjoy it. It is a lot of fun to play, but it's very simplistic and the controls are very easy. The cars handle uh, very, very well, except for when you do stuff like that. They handle very well and they handle very easy. as I totally biffed my first run because I totally forgot about which part of the screen was my handbrake control. So when I say it's simplistic, it's the cars all handle pretty much the same way based on power, too much there, and there's no t real tuning involved. I mean, the look of the car is just based on what you choose for uh, stance of the car. We definitely screwed that run up totally, so we're going to do that again and do way better tandems than that. So that's why I prefer um, Torque Drift over this, and it's not an unbiased opinion or a biased opinion by any means for me being a sponsor in Torque Drift. It's just I like the more um, tuning aspect of Torque Drift, the more um, a realism of it, and this game is so much fun to play and just to kill time with because, like I said, it is very, it is a very simplistic drifting game where, you know, you can just mindlessly play it. And it doesn't, you know, really take that much time to, you know, kind of, I guess, get really good at it. Whereas Torque Drift, you have to have a very well set up car, you gotta spend time tuning it, and, you know, the, I feel the skill level of drivers in there are getting higher and higher, so it's more of a challenge than, say, FR Legends, uh, a little bit too close there, but that's personally why I don't play this game as much because, well, I prefer the realistic, like, FD style version of drifting rather than, you know, something like this that's just you know, basically gas brake and handbrake where Torch you have to worry about gas brake, you know, tire wear, setup, and everything like that it makes a huge difference on the car. So, that's just my personal take on it. But we are gonna rip Hertz car. And I feel like Jim is a cool thing. I don't have any of the Toge tracks. So we're gonna go back into battle. We're gonna up the difficulty. This is probably my favorite track of all the tracks right now. I don't have Romandale or anything right now. I definitely wanna get those tracks unlocked. But um, I would have to play this game a lot more in order to get those tracks unlocked because I don't have much money in the game. Much better wall ride. There we go, slow it down a little bit with brakes, kick it back, there we go, Ooh, quick hard flick, don't lose it, I think we ran away with that one for sure, and we will definitely take the advantage, I do like the scoring system in this game, it is kind of cool, I like, you know, the aspects of it, it's just, for me, it's not as intense of a game when it comes to you know, the realism of drifting. It is a fun game. I love the cartoon aspect of it. And it's awesome that you can change the interior of the car and stuff like that. Like, my S14 is rocking NRG steering wheel, of course, because, well, NRG. 
So it's kind of cool to be able to change the interior of the car and stuff like that. I think we lost that one. Yeah, we did. So it's a very fun game, but personally, that's why I don't really play it too much um, on the channel because it's, you know, a very simplistic game. But I think I might try and play it a little bit more on the channel, maybe do some lobbies and stuff like that because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy and want to play this game. So, and don't get me wrong, I have nothing wrong with the game. It's just personally, I prefer. Uh, the more realistic style drift games than this. Uh, it's, you know, a fun way to kill time. But we are ripping Hertz car right now, having a good time, bringing it to channel for you guys because a lot of you guys have requested it. So that is why FR Legends is here on the channel today. Mimic entry, there we go. Slow down, trying to tuck in the door, a little bit of brakes. Don't hit him. Mimicking kind of fell off a little bit. See if we can't flick back. There we go. Oh, that should have hit brakes instead of handbrake. Kind of bringing it into his door with Hertz car. The the aspect of having to repair the car and buy tires and stuff like that is kind of a cool feature. Um, I like being able to knock the bumpers off, and then you know if you do knock the bumpers off, you can zip tie them back on, or you can uh, fully repair the car. Looks like going against Hurt versus Hurt, so it's a Hurt on Hurt battle, and Hurt doesn't have his hood on his version. Not as close to the wall as I'd like to be. Ooh, hanging that out. I feel like that was my fault. Oh, I got I got lost up in. Uh, I got a little bit lost because my cable for my recording went over my screen. I couldn't rotate it as much as I wanted to. So not a great lead, but now we will definitely chase down and see. This car's cambered out. I forgot I had this thing. Yeah, camber ganged out. There we go, trying to... Oh, coming in, coming in hot there. Oh, we kind of overtook him. So unfortunately, we're probably gonna take the loss on that one. But we might bring back the S14 and drive the S14 a little bit, try some Gymkhana. We're gonna, I didn't wanna do another battle, but why not do another battle while we're here? We're almost out of tires in this car too, so. Oh man, hurt! I'm so sorry. We kind of just definitely demolished your car into the wall. Unfortunately, now the cool thing I do like about this, I do like the cockpit view, the way the cockpit view works. We're gonna do that a little bit with the S14 once I finish this battle off. Just bashing in this man's door. We're going to run the S14 because to see the energy wheel. I don't have the interior really done up in that car right now because I don't have that much money, so we're going to hop back. Hertz car is hurt. So we're going to go back to the S14. We're going to go play it. We're going to do some battles with it. We're going to do this one, and we're definitely going to drop it out of super. And I feel like we're going to try and change views real quick if we can. There we go. Little first person view with the energy wheel. Definitely nowhere near the wall. And definitely nowhere where I needed to be, straightening up a little bit. But managed to finish somewhat. So that energy wheel going roundy round in here is definitely a cool thing. We definitely did not do good on that. First person view, definitely a little bit weird. But we're going to try and make this better. Definitely outpowered by all means by that man's car. So I'm trying to cut the angle. We're way off track. And we failed. First person, not my best thing. Off track. So we're going to do that again. But we are going to get out of first person mode. Because first person, not my cup of tea. This is not the view I wanted to be in either. Super wide. Now I got into the view I wanted. One more. Alright. We got into the view we wanted to be in, so we're going to try this again. So, FR Legends, definitely not the type of game that I'm used to playing. Uh, doing, you know, screen rotation and just, you know, having three simple buttons is definitely different to me, but it is a fun game, and I can see why a lot of people, you know, mindlessly play this game because it is a very entertaining game just to sit back and enjoy and play. So if you guys want to keep seeing FR, 
on the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And let me know down in the comment section down below. It's definitely a different style of driving that I'm not used to, so definitely taking me a little bit to get used to the game again. I'm way off him. Getting overpowered in my uh, S14. So we're going to lose that one. So we're going to go back home. We're going to try some Gymkhana. My car is definitely beat up, but I don't think we're going to fix it. We'll leave it beat up. Definitely a cool game for the aspect of the damage. So we're going to do some Gymkhana. Gymkhana layout. See what type of points we can get here in Gymkhana, which is a cool feature. And, you know, I do like this feature stay out the wall there we go there we go there we go got some bonus points there we did lose our bumper but we are okay staying in the donut circle one round just kind of staying really there we go two rounds I'm gonna come back around and try and get this inner wall fortunately we did not get all of that inner wall but we do have a lot better points this time we got 44 seconds left so I'm gonna try and come back around try and hit this again we did not the game is definitely fun for this aspect and I think we're gonna try and loop this one again Nineteen seconds left. I feel like we can probably try and loop this real quick. Go in there and try and hard park. Oh, and we hit the wall. So we didn't hard park in there, unfortunately, but we did get a new record score up there of 86. Jimkana is definitely fun. I'm going to give that one more go before we end this episode off. Because, uh, I'll, ooh, I lost my bumper and everything. I got no bumpers. We got nothing. And we hit the wall straight away. And, you know, we're going to try that again. <clears throat> definitely frustrating <laughs> when you try to do that. Kick this in. There we go. That's better. Get the inner run first. Get the inner one, hook the car around, do a quick flick, get it into the circle. Almost out of the circle, so we're, now we're good. Get some roundabouts going. I think we're just gonna keep this, keep this going. Come out of it. Hook the car back around. Try and hook this outer version. A uh, little bit slow on that. We can transition and get some points, but we hit walls. So we are getting some more points here. Let's see if we can maybe hook this in one again. Definitely not on the right path for that. I don't think we're going to get more points than we got last time. Hardy break in there. We're going to beat our 85. Probably not. Nope. We will not beat the 85. So for Legends, definitely an interesting game and a fun game to play. But my car has definitely seen worse for wear. So it's definitely a fun game. I will continue to play it, but... I just wanted to let you guys know. I do prefer Torch Drift and the, and the um, realism of the tuning of the cars. But FR Legends definitely a fun game. We'll continue to play it. I love playing all mobile drift games that I have. Hirashi Drift, FR Legends, Torch Drift, and all that. But you guys have been asking for um, FR Legends on the channel. So we did bring FR Legends to the channel for you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys want to see more here on FR Legends, let me know down in the comments down below. And as always, 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.